I think we should already be talking about um, the strike action uh, by the NLC and also uh, by the TUC. You know, um, it's a total shutdown in Nigeria, you know. Um, so I, I'd like that you begin to drop your comments. Let us know what it's like around you. Um, light has been shut down since about 2 a.m. at night. Do you have light around you and all of that? Uh, because um, the only place where light is is in Abba, you know, and that's because, they, I mean, Abia, that's because they generate their own light. And of course, I think it's less than a thousand um, megawatts. And it's, so, it's quite... Um, it's quite a lot uh, and I think uh, they are it's <laughs> it's as if they saw this coming you know thank you very much for joining us it is serious matters here at ONF TV thank you very much for keeping pace with us my name is Lukun Abrams and of course we want to look at the happenings around the country there have been several insinuations and several comments with respect to um, the NUC, NLC and NTUC going on strike there have been several opinions as to why they should go out on strike we've had lego practitioners say it was unrealistic for them to have gone on strike some people even said that look they are still um the government have not they haven't reached a conclusion um but you know in my own opinion um uh, the people who said that they have not reached the conclusion uh, i think one thing they, they didn't look at or the one thing they didn't foresee is that that discussion could go on for the next four years or for the next three years that discussion could go on for the next three years without anything being achieved and so i feel that oh if they are going on strike i think it is a very good thing to do um at this time because um president bola met to number two um will not uh, <laughs> say that uh, except he's just having a rethink about uh, people going on uh, on strike um he was uh, uh, during the times of um jonathan he was behind you know a lot of you know actions then you know to uh to say that look this type of thing is not acceptable and to think of it that when they were campaigning these were not the things we are seeing today are not the things that that he promised us i mean he came in with subsidies gone before coming in, coming in to talk about how they are going to get palliative and all of that. To now make matters worse, that people we are we are still hearing that subsidy is still being paid, yet we are buying fuel at 600, 700 naira. You know, it's sad and it's so bad that this government have become are, are so. Let me not say become because um, it all started with it. It all began to get worse with them. It all began to get worse with them. I mean, Buari spent eight years and it was horrible. And interestingly, when that man was going and he said, you guys will miss me, we were like, God forbid, Batten, God forbid, Batten. You know, that kind of thing. And I can't imagine the God, God forbid, Batten, God that we were talking about. I can't imagine him smiling and saying, hmm, mm, uh, what is coming? God have mercy. You came in and increased fuel by about 500%. I mean, come on, kilo day. This is this is the height of wickedness. You increase, you increase, you increase fuel price. You increase electricity tariff, and you are saying that you are complaining that there is inflation, that fuel, that food food prices have gone up, and all of that. Why won't it go up? All these things are tied together. It's all a network. You you know that fuel price will have to do with transportation. So even if I produce, I will still need fuel to transport it. And so the fuel man collects, major, collects a chunk of the money, which I, will have to, which I will want to gain back when I'm selling my goods, which eventually results in you know, um, inflation, if you want to put it that way, uh, as an economics. You know? And then you talk about electricity. Our organizations, I mean, the ones that are left anyway, manufacturing companies that are left, I mean, majority of them run on generators. And to now think of the fact that diesel is about 1,200 per liter. Who did buy diesel before? God have mercy. God have mercy. And so, some people run diesel from morning till night. And you expect them not to sell at a high price. You expect them not to sell at a high price. So, uh, um, the issue of whether they should have gone or not should have gone, I think it is right that they go and then uh, have whatever needs to be resolved to be resolved once and 
for all. I think whatever language the NLC is speaking, it's, it's very, very clear to Mr. President. He won't say he doesn't understand the language of the NLC. To not think about or talk about, you know, their remuneration, talking about the salary that um, one that one is expecting or that they should agree on. Yes, 490 something personally might not be realistic. Considering the current situation, it might be realistic if the right steps are taken towards reviving, you know, the dying economy. But then at the moment, it's not realistic. It's not realistic. However, um, the government talking to them at the level of 60,000 naira is bad. It's terrible. That's awkward. To consider the situation of things, somebody says that, oh, if they increase the price, they will not increase, uh, they will increase the price of things. No, they will increase the price of things because if they are going to agree on anything less than 490-something thousand, then it must come with reduction in fuel price. It must also come with a reduction with, in, with reduction in electricity tariff and several other things. At least those major two that affect production of goods and services. Then that's the only way prices will come down. And... Um, just like I had um, a legend speak on, you know, a former, 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 because it was in the 80s, you know, former, you know, NLC president, you know, who said that the least they should be, the government should be talking about is 100,000. The least. So we should be between, we should be talking between 100,000 100, and 150,000 naira as minimum wage, so as to cushion the effect of so-called soft subsidy remove. All this idea of sharing money, uh, uh, something, something, transfer, all these things. I don't know where our governments get all these funny ideas from. I don't know where our leaders get it from, you know. And so I wonder what is really, really causing the delay in reaching a conclusion. Why they did not even reach a conclusion before this. I mean, the NLC had given a notice for a very long time. And so why did they not reach a conclusion before now? You can't blame them. Hey, <laughs> some of them are being carried in boots, car boots, to work. Some of them cannot even leave the office. Some people sleep in the office, and that's just because they have to keep their job. To not make matters worse, marriages are having issues. You know, somebody, a man goes to work, he doesn't come back for two weeks. Before he comes back, or he just hears on that side that his wife, a neighbor, is already sleeping with his wife, or things like that. You don't, you can't imagine the terrible things that are already happening. You can't imagine. People can't afford to buy food. People can't afford to eat what they like or what they want. Their take-home cannot even afford to buy anything. Can you imagine that a take-home, the, the minimum wage of this country cannot buy, cannot even buy half a bag of rice. It can't buy half. I'm not talking about buying a full bag. A country where the minimum wage cannot buy half a bag of rice. Is that one a country? God have mercy. And then let me ask the question like um, uh, anti-success we always ask. <laughs> you know. Well, this is serious matters, and uh, you are free to drop your comments. Make them simple and civil. Let us know what your opinions are uh, on, you know, the ongoing um, um, NLCTUC strike. You know, how is it affecting? How is it biting at your end? Well, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to share our videos with others. We'll always appreciate you and drop your comments. Make them simple and civil. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.